Well, hey guys, I hope you are here to see us paint this bed and we want you to help us out by guessing how long you think it's going to take. I'm gonna be using our beautiful color called London in the all-in-one paint. If you're new to our page, just comment right here below. We wanna send you a sample of this fabulous paint, show you how easy and quickly you can transform literally everything in your home. I'm gonna get started here by showing you quick ways to get clean and to know you have a great finish for your piece. I'm gonna do that by using our deglosser. And we've already worked on this bed and you can see already the lovelies that have come off of this bed. So I'm just gonna show you how quick and easy you do that. I'm using a cheap chip brush, the center of the bed I have not done. So I'll just show you how you do it. So hey guys, while Paula's busy cleaning, which you know how much I love to make her clean because I know how much she hates it. <laughs> um, comment and guess how long it's gonna take Paula to paint. Yeah. The headboard, footboard. All right. That's all we're going to do today. But so. Don't start guessing just yet. Just give me just a minute. Let me show you how to clean, rub that product on using this chip brush, and then go back and wipe away all the dirt, grease, grime, and all the years of buildup that might have accrued, that might have accumulated on your piece. You want to make sure you're not painting over grease and oils. And after that step, that's all you have to do using the all one paint is just clean and paint. And then we're going to show you how to do that without any sanding, any waxing, or any sealing using this product. Again, if you're new to our page, comment right here below. We want to send you a link to get yourself a free sample by simply paying the $6.99 shipping. You pick the color in 30 beautiful colors. You can paint inside and outside, again, with no waxing or sealing or top coats. So stay with us. We're going to paint this bed right now. I'm going to use a fabulous color. And I'm also going to show you how to put on the base coat using this. And this is our true applicator. I'm going to show you a simple method to do that. Just turn your paint right upside down in your, right onto the true applicator. And then you're just going to put on your first base coat right here. Just let it go. Let it drip. Let it run. Whatever it needs to do. And put this on. We're just going to rub right down into the details. If you've got a lot of details like this, have your brush handy so you can work the paint down into all the areas that you can't reach well. Just get that first coat on, and then we're going to do the brush and roll technique on top of that. So if you're just coming onto this live, say something here and tell us how long you think it's going to take to paint this bed. So we're going to do the quick and down and dirty coat right here, just using the true applicator. And this is the ugly coat, so you can make this, this first coat happen really quick. Don't worry about the way you're painting. Don't worry about the grain. Just get it on there, and this is going to give you that bond coat. Just rub it in, rub it on, just let it go. So have that little brush handy and uh, get down on all these little details around this little rosette. And of course, around all these columns and down in all this great detail. I'm gonna take a brush and get down in there real quick. But right now I'm gonna cover the big area using the true applicator. Paula, they are not giving you enough credit. They are guessing some long times here <laughs> for their guesses. Well, there's some, there's some heavy detail here, so who knows, I may fail at this one, so. Just hang in there with us, and you need to stick around to the end. If you have tried this product and you love it, don't leave. Just stay right here with us because we've got something great we want to share with you. And um, just remember, it's that time of year. Everybody's getting ready for the fourth. So hang with us. We've got some great announcements. Only going to go for a few, so hang on. Stay with us and share this to your page if you would please. We would love for you to share, and I see already many of you sharing, and thank you so much for doing that. So just keep turning it up right onto your true we applicator. We've got a lot of people on here. Great. Wow. You guys came to the party. We asked you to, and here you showed up. They're waiting to see what this deal is. <laughs> <laughs> you got to wait a little you bit longer. Wait. Let you us, wait. Let us get through the ugly coat, then we're going to Yeah, tie. get through the ugly. So I'm going to paint the headboard, the footboard, and I'm going to get at least a base coat on the rails. So you can calculate, calculate that into your... Uh, time process here. You saw me do this. I did a bit at my home if you saw that one And uh, I'm not gonna tell you how long that took but they were very similar in size I was gonna say don't help their guessing. I'm not. I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna share my time. I know how much it was and man oh man I was sweating it down by the time that ended. I look back at that and I go my hair was ringing wet during that I was like wow I was tired. <laughs> so this one might really whip me down. So hang around for the meltdown <laughs> It's going to be one for sure. If that AC don't kick on down here. Well. In this Kentucky summer we're having here. This is uh, the uh, sweat sauna <laughs> down here. And uh, hey, we're down here losing weight though. Yep, I'm watching you paint. I'm burning up over here watching you paint. Say, what is going on? She's watching me paint. <laughs> 
I, I got like to watch best me work. Job. Watch Paula work uh -huh. and the director. Director. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm just doing the highs here. Call me Melissa Scorsese over here. All right, exactly. All right. I don't want you going to call me out there. <laughs> just call me. <laughs> just call me. Be nice. <laughs> All right, let me get this down in here as much as I can, just using my little glove. And I put on gloves, guys, because you're going to get this on your hands. And uh, don't let drips and runs, now this is not being sloppy. I am watching and make sure I don't get drips and runs and all this great detail. So again, I've got a little brush over here. I'm going to go ahead and hit it right now. So Paul, we've got a lot of people just jumping on. They want to know what color you're using. I'm using London. London is a gorgeous sagey green that... Uh, it's kind of a natural color that you're going to find in nature somewhat. But a very pretty soft green that can be antiqued and bring on lots of different characteristics of this product. I am going to antique the details here, just so you know. So I'm going to cut this back with my brush so I can get down. Not all. tonight, though. That's no, not. Uh, that don't happen. don't factor that into your time guessing. No, that's not happening tonight for sure. That won't happen. We'll be dry enough for that. So I am going to antique it, so I don't let you guys see me do that on another live, probably sometime early next week. And uh, this may go into her little condo. Not sure about that either. See how good of a job she does while she's right, going fast like and it. then <laughs> See if I like it. This is a gorgeous bed, by the way. This is not a fine antique, so if anybody's getting worried that we're painting over gorgeous antiques, this is an import. This is come from uh, probably Coaster, be my guess. Not a big brand, but it is a pretty bed, I have to say. It is really a pretty bed. So all this detail is going to really antique gorgeous, and I don't know if I'm going to use vintage brown or I'm going to use the whitewash. Just have to see. I have to let it speak to me. Y'all have that happen to you? Have to speak? So if you're just coming on to this live, say something to us. We'd love to hear from you. We'd also love to send you a free sample of this great product and get yourself some of the all-in-one paint so you can start painting things around your own home. $6.99, and we will ship it to your door. You choose the color out of all of our gorgeous 30 colors to paint indoor and outdoor, even your front door, and that sample is enough to do that and show you how great the paint works. And you can order it today, and that's right. And we'll probably ship it out on Monday. They may not know that. We have our shipping up right now. We're shipping in, uh, sometimes we're shipping in the same day, but we have certain orders that will fall under the two to three day timeline, but we're getting it very quickly right now. So. If you've ordered from us in the past, come back and try us again. We would love to show you how good we got it shipping. Mm -hmm. So we have been knocking it out. So I'm just going to use my brush here. There's a lot of detail in these finials, and I'm just going to put it on with the Syntec. And that's going to get me the quickest first coat. i got to tell you, I'm so impressed that you are not splattering that wall with paint. Well, I'm not a big paint slinger. <laughs> Unless my hair is standing around you. Then You're then. not near. I need to get you I over know. here. Then I'll sling a drop uh -huh. of it. I would have that all over the wall. I'd have to put plastic behind it. This paint's kind of thick, so it doesn't uh, slosh, if you've noticed. Y'all always comment that I don't have paint and get paint on my clothes, and that's because this is not a thin paint. It has a lot of body to this paint. That's why it's that it works so I'm going to turn a little bit. I didn't realize we're not even showing them this pretty little thing you're painting here. There it is. Sorry. Sorry, Scorsese. Yeah, Scorsese was uh, <laughs> slacking on her job Scorsese there. Scorsese was over and out of it over there. <laughs> we have 1,300 people wow, on this that live might be with an us. All time that record. might be a record. That might be a record. So, guys, if you are new to our page, you can't imagine that there's not a lot of new folks on here. If you'd like to try this paint, comment below. We're going to send you that link to get yourself a free sample. We're painting this bed. We're going to show you how long it takes, and we hope you guess right along with us and see how long it takes. And if you're already using our products and love them, Stay with us. We have a great offer for you. Before we end here tonight, we're going to share that with you, and it's going to be to a limited few folks who are able to get in on our special deal that we're going to be offering right here tonight. So stay with us. All right, we'll keep on going here. So we want you to see this pretty bed. We don't want you to get off and go shopping. <laughs> no, I want you to just hang tight and see this. This bed's going to be gorgeous finish, don't you think, with all these pretty details in it? It's going to make it a little more feminine, obviously painted in something light and pale. And uh, it could be farmhouse more because this is very mm -hmm. transitional bed. It could be very traditional, very transitional. Either way, if it's for a couple, I could see it being something that's not made. girly by any means. No, nope, it's heavy enough and ornate enough that it can be manly. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is going to give it that feminine touch. Mm -hmm. So depending on the bedding that you put on it, that's going to be what characters you're going to characteristics you're going to bring out in it more. 
All right, so I'm going to keep going, going. So where are we going now? Back over. Keep going. Well, look, I'm already getting a second coat on here. I don't want to do the second coat until you guys can see, because I'm going to do brush and roll on that. It's already drying enough that I can get second coat in here. Let's do a time check. Somebody let me know in the comments where we are in time here. All right. Oh, yeah, we didn't even say what time it was when we started. Mm -mm. What time was it when we started, guys? By the time you finished cleaning, it was about at the, uh, I'm going to say we've been doing it about nine and a half minutes. All right. I'm just getting down. All Based on the, the timer on my clock All here. the little crevices I couldn't get with my tree applicator, mm -hmm. so I can mm -hmm. continue on with it. And if you have questions, if you're thinking about painting your cabinets, your uh, bathroom vanity, your bedroom suit, and you have questions, ask away. Paul is here to help answer those for you. And if yeah. we can't get to them in the live, we will definitely get to them in the comments for you. So even if you're catching the replay, ask away. Yes, we do go back through the comments, just so mm -hmm. we do try our best to answer, and uh, customer service will also catch them on through the weekend, and myself, as well as <laughs> Melissa, all of us. We try our best to answer you as quickly as possible. All right, so we're getting, getting some of the detail done here. Are you guys liking this color, by chance? This oh, Terry Lynn Jones says she has this bed. You have to stay and wait to see how this turns out. Or is that you're going to wait years, Terry? I bet you're about to be buying some London. <laughs> She's probably already got London on her. <laughs> <laughs> and someone's, uh, I missed who it was, but someone commented and said, if I guess the right time, do I win the bet? <laughs> <laughs> or are you coming to Louisville to get it? You may. <laughs> it's heavy. <laughs> okay, so let's get that. Are we in the shot? Let me check. Yep. Make sure. Mm hmm. And I will tell you guys, at least on my camera, the color is looking a little paler than it does in person. You can see a great photo that uh, Rayla Spencer did. She did a kitchen in London, and she put gold handles on it. Ooh. It was that gorgeous. Was that posted? I'd like to share that. I posted it on Instagram today. Ooh. And on our Facebook page. So if you Where go back to that timeline and check it out, it was so pretty, I had to. Oh, I'd like to see that. Mm -hmm. I'll have to check you out, Rayla Spencer. Let's see that one. You've had so many awesome posts. There's about 200,000 people in our group on Facebook. And if you comment right here below, we'll send you the link to get yourself a sample and also join our group. So you can see other folks using this product, not just me, painting kitchens, bathrooms, their outdoor furniture, their front door, garage door, shutters, you name it, they're painting it using this amazing product that doesn't require you to put on a top coat. So it makes painting a joy and a little bit sweaty. So stay with me, we're gonna keep on going here. And uh, you don't have to be in a rush like I am, so I'm not rushing. I'm just uh, trying to get it done so you girls can be proud of my time. So, Marsha, we're going to do two coats on this. We should get it in that. And Terry Drummond wants to know, what does she need to buy if she's going to paint her cabinets? Terry, best thing I can tell you to do is go to allinonepaint.com forward slash get started. Okay. Check that out. That will show you how much you need to buy. It will show you sizes of kitchens and that will... You can figure out what you need, and uh, we have a new website coming that's going to help you walk right through that very soon. But right now, go to all in one paint slash get started at all in one paint.com slash get started, and that'll take you right through all the steps and tell you everything that you need. I would suggest getting yourself the tool trio because it's an awesome way. I'm going to show you also how to use the other part of the tool trio on this bed in just a second. So, we're right now using the Syntec as well as a true applicator, and then I'll show you how to use the little roller just in a moment. All right, so we've got this one post. We're going to come down, and then we're going to go to the footboard, okay? And that way I can show you a little better. How it looks. Closer. Leslie Cantor is on. It's our first time watching. Hi, Leslie. Leslie. Oh, you know she's serious when she gets quiet, Betty. She's in the zone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to bang these posts uh -huh. out with all this detail. All right, so there we go. Now, the main thing is painting, and I want to show you great detail that we're going to get using on the second coat. We're going to go ahead and put that second coat right here while I have your attention on this upper part of this bed. Before we have to move this you. whole surface down yes, to the other I'm end. Show you what it's going to look like this quickly, which you'll be amazed how quickly that we can second coat. Now, I'm not telling you to do that at home. Give it a fair time to dry. But I'm going to show you just right here, wet on wet almost, putting on this second coat. You saw how long we've been painting. I have no idea how long that is. You can tell me. 
if you'd like. And uh, I'll set this to the side and grab my true object of my roller. Do you see my roller mount right there on that table, please? Thank you. You have about 12 and a half minutes. So something else to take note of. We've only used probably about, of course, this was only full right here to this bend. We've only used right now down to about right here. So it takes very little paint. One quart covers 140 square feet. This pint will cover 70. And that means you're gonna paint more things than you've ever believed. Even a kitchen can be painted with one to two coats, one to two quarts of paint. So just hang with me. Yes, this is a big old bed. So this is the brush and roll technique, okay? So now going on second coat, you can see I'm putting on a nice full coat of paint. And why I'm doing that is because you don't want to dry brush. You want to just put it on like you do a normal paint. I'm taking my dry roller, there's no paint on this, and I'm just gonna lightly roll through this. Now, if I don't get full coverage, I can always go back and hit it again because it lifted some paint from where it wasn't really ready to be second coated. So I'm not gonna fret about that, I'm just gonna roll on, knowing I'm gonna come back and do the very same thing once it's good and dry in just a moment. So the normal person would wait till it was good and dry, but I'm not necessarily the normal person here. You don't say. <laughs> that was hard to admit, but the truth be told. I can't believe your nose didn't grow like Pinocchio on it. <laughs> the truth. Okay. All right, so there is that. And uh, same thing, just go right around the detail. Very, very light pressure. I'm not pushing. I'm not trying to lay paint down with this roller. I'm just trying to ease any of the striations that you see from the brush touching the paint. So all I'm trying to do is just soften, just blot. Again, just a very light pressure. Just if I'm just barely touching my glove, you can see it's just barely, barely touching it. So just so you see, just that much pressure. See how much it's bending that? Very, very little, okay? That's all you need to do. I'll show you here on this leg. Turn that so that yeah. you can see this flat piece a little there better. Same thing here, this was pretty dry. Not perfect, but just say if I'm just starting here and this was nice and dry, do the same thing, work the paint down. Here, this would be my second coat going on. Now, I could just leave it with brush gone. Perfect, could just do it that. It looks really good for brush gone. That's great. Mm -hmm. But I've got some lights and highs and lows here, and I don't want this to have brush marks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll right over ridges and all, and just do this, just lightly feather this paint. Is it necessary? It isn't. But is it, is it an awesome way to paint? It's the best way to paint, and it's the best method to keep you from having to put on multiple coats. And the reason being is when you make paint stripes, when you're using any type of paint, you're putting on heavy marks, and then you go back, the second one isn't as heavy, the third one isn't as heavy, then you dip again, you paint light, medium, pale. So then if you use this in between, just go to lightly maneuver the paint around, then everything has no highs and lows. So that's kind of the method behind it. And it works beautifully to help you get a seamless looking paint job. Okay? Same well, thing. you're talking too much. Their times are going up now. Uh-oh. Well, <laughs> you got to dock me for talk. Okay? I don't know. No, no. All right. Hey, so they might be talking while they're painting uh, their bedrooms. I've got to teach them here. We just, just want to show you how quickly you can get well, big projects done around your home. Well, this I mean, you can literally you knock your kitchen out in a day if you're if you want. You're you really can. feeling it. Yeah, you don't have to do what I'm doing and try to be in a hurry, but you certainly can get it put back together pretty quickly if you so choose. Mm -hmm. I mean, the guests could be coming tonight. We could be ready. That's right. I could paint the table before they show up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a thought. I could do that. Oh, uh, have people come over and paint their food on the table <laughs> before they sit down to eat. And cook their dinner while they're at it. Mm -hmm. hey, that's Wouldn't that be great? We're doing that one day, you know. Call that a, <laughs> some type of a, was it all-inclusive experience? What do you call that? <laughs> uh, that's when you invite people over and hand them a paintbrush. <laughs> paint party. Paint party. Mm-hmm. Y'all go to an eyelash party, but this would be a little different. Come over, family. I'm going to give you a paintbrush. <laughs> Paint gas. <clears throat> you won't have a lot of guests after that. <laughs> <laughs> Might be the last time. That's how you keep them from coming. Mm -hmm. There yep. you go. Got to paint your own bed before you sleep in it. <laughs> uh -oh. I'm thinking they rubbed a little paint on me, on my face. Did you? Let me see. A little, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> that oh, never happens. No, I what happened? Little... You didn't have your Wheaties today or something. Uh, yeah, I'm getting a little 
little runny nose here. I think it's runny nose. It could be paint. <laughs> could be something else running there. Okay. Get me all heated up over here. I know. So how's my second coat looking, guys? It's looking really good. It looks a little bit better if you'd waited a little bit longer. Well, I'm, I'm rushing. I'll get it as I'm going. Oh, I'm gonna keep, I'll roll me a little over it when I get a little on my brush here. So I'm going to say two and a half coats covers is excellent. But if you wait, you could do it in two coats if you didn't pull, pull wet off. You guys, I can't get up super close right now because I've got the tripod on wheels and I've got rails here in front of me holding this bed together. So we'll get up close. Uh, we'll minute. get up close at the end. So hang tight if you want to see that. And don't forget, we're going to talk about a deal here in a bit. So hang tight. Well, we got just Maybe when we get to the footboard, we'll talk about it. We just don't want you leaving just yet. We want you to see this thing come together. All right, so I'm putting on that second coat, really liberal, not runny, not sloppy. Just get it on there. We're going to go back and move it around. Now, I'm tempted to say, don't put a fan on, because everybody wants to turn and put a fan on. We mm -hmm. need a fan. But I don't want to have a fan on for one reason. It dries the paint too quickly. If you're painting in a fan, painting in the sun, you're hurting your paint process. Mm -hmm. You're curing it out too quickly. You don't want to do that. It's going to cause texture mm -hmm. in your paint. Mm -hmm. Any paint, not just this paint, mm -hmm. any paint. Can't stand a fan. Yeah. And look how small of an area she's working in. She didn't even paint that whole middle section out. She just painted part of it and she's going right into the uh, roll. Yep. You gotta work smart. You gotta work while the paint is still very liquid. Very liquid. You're not trying to wait till it lays down and starts to dry. You're trying to move it while it's still in the movable position. Nicole, when you get a chance, come back and show us again the pressure. Okay. For the people that are just joining us. All right. Now, if somebody has runs, this is the key to runs. Don't forget about using this tool. Move our edges, your cabinet doors. Whenever you're doing any brushing, just lightly go back. I'll show you how much you roll, just like this. <laughs> see, I'm oh, pushing no. that on my face. Oh, right? I hope Facebook makes that the screen grab. Oh, yeah. Oh, so you can barely see it. Come on, right? Mark Zuckerberg. Don't let me down. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how much pressure you use, though. That's a good demo, isn't it? I'm too bad this wasn't a white. <laughs> I could have been like a ghost standing. <laughs> All right, but that shows you it doesn't have any smell, and it's water soluble. Forgot about that. That's a few little things I should tell you about. <laughs> Makes a good mask. I used to have a mask that was this color that you uh, put on for blemishes. Remember that back in the day? Oh, the green mask? It was from Mary Kay, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. I think so. Remember that? And then they had a pink mm -hmm. one. I had a, remember that pink one? I had a mud one, too. It looked like you were rubbing dirt, all, literally rubbing dirt all over your face. <laughs> they used to say that would get rid of uh, everything. everything. It was a cure all for Got rid of your friends. Got rid of your <laughs> <laughs> boyfriends, husbands, or but. Got rid of zits and the worms. Mm -hmm. All right, so there you go. That was all it took for me to hear. I wore that thing for hours. You're supposed to wear it for 10 minutes. I'd wear it for two hours. Oh, yeah, the Mary Kay one. It would harden that piece. Uh -huh. You could hardly get it off. Yeah. It would crack on your face. It would dry so crack. hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. I didn't know you'd experience the Mary Kay thing like that. Oh, yeah. I tried it all. 20 years younger than I am. How'd you find out? I'm that? not 20 years younger than you. No, I'm 18. 18. 18. Close enough. <laughs> Close enough for hand grenades. <laughs> okay, so there you go. That's two down? coats. Let's move on over to this next panel. Guys, if you are new to our page, just coming on to this live, say hi. We'd love to hear from you. And if you'd like to get a sample, just comment right here below and uh, show you how to get this going in your own home and how to paint some great pieces of furniture without doing any waxing or any sanding. Just simply clean it and paint it. So stay with us and keep guessing right here how long you think it's going to take to finish this bed. We're getting there. We're on the second coat. So and you I'm showing you maybe two and a half coats earlier. Susan wants to know what you mean by that. She has to think about the half coat. <laughs> that is a great question. That is actually a really good question. I only say that because I know what I'm talking about and I forget you don't. So yes, half coat means there might be some areas that would benefit from a little bit more paint. So I'm doing two coats and I know I've got some areas here that I've painted too quickly that I'll go back and just touch lightly. I'll just go back, give them a little stipple like that. And a little tap, just, tap. Yep, just add a little bit of brush, add a little roll to them. That way they were just uh, mm -hmm. uh, So there, there was your half coat. Yeah, kind of so, kind of <laughs> sort of. 
That's it. If I need to touch it in another area, I won't have to go over this whole bed. I'll just look it over and paint where it needs it, and uh, mm -hmm. that's the half coat. So two and a half coats. You could do three. You want to stand here and paint over areas that don't need it, but I don't do that. I just go back and say, there, that needs a little, that needs a little. You don't have to put two, three full coats on. This paint dries hard as a rock, guys. It takes about 30 days for things to fully cure. And I just want to be sure and point that out. That's any waterborne paint it takes 30 days to fully cure during that time. Just be careful with it. You don't need to get out there and try to scrub it. And when you move it around, just be careful during those times. Uh, give it about a week and it will harden extremely, extremely hard. But during 30 days, it's going to even get harder. So that's one thing to note about waterborne paints. It does take a minute for them to cure and harden. So don't do a scratch test tonight. Once you finish, you have to give it just a minute and then you'll see the strength and the durability as the paint cures over time. So just something to keep in mind. And for those who aren't familiar with our paint, they don't even know. Yes. After she gets this paint on, she's done. I'm done, that's right. She can be done. I can sleep in this bed if I want. So there's no top coat, even on something as hard weighing as your kitchen cabinets, as your tabletop, uh, as your front door that is Facing full sun and no storm door, no top coat needed. That's None. the beauty of it. This product's been around for about six, five, six years now. I don't know exactly what's the timeline now. Sounds about right. <laughs> We're the worst. Blind yeah, the blind five, to six, five to six years. Thousands and thousands of people have used the product. And if you want to learn more and talk to other people who've used it, you mm -hmm. it on their cabinets, paint it indoors. They live in the northern climates, mm -hmm. live in the southern climates. Get on that Facebook page and you will get to see them, talk to them, and uh, also on leathers and vinyls. You can also talk to people who have used it there. So you can also use this to transform leathers and vinyls in your home as well. All right, let's see. Can you see me over here again, yeah, this sign? Yeah. Good, all right. I'll do some more brush and roll here. I will get in here and do all these back posts too, guys, right to the floor. Just not gonna do that right now. Too much squatting and bending and you, uh, We'll see me really, and it's too hot now. <laughs> really get out of breath and really be an ugly painter, and I don't want to do that. <laughs> I mean, you've already got paint on your face. So. Oh, well, since I put it on there, it don't count. <laughs> since I'm the applier, then uh, you can't say I got a slosh paint on my face. <laughs> <laughs> That's by choice. Okay, so now here's where I need a little more. I pulled this off right here. Looks like that might be dry enough to get on a little more paint. Maybe not. Should have probably waited, but let's try it. Let's try it. Yeah, you're gonna have to wait. You're gonna come back after you do the footboard. Probably so. Oh well. Try to make it look pretty as possible before you move. All right, so let's jump down the footboard. Then we'll come mm -hmm. back here and put on that little little uh, half coat. Okay, I'll show them what that looks like in just a minute. Mm -hmm. All right, so right. Think. Right. So now the footboard's kind of easy, so she's going to roll me down there. Hang tight, going for a little ride. And I'm going to come around on this side and get this knocked out. Yeah, did you see our live earlier today that we did doing the chest, doing the little trunks? And uh, have my cousins here all the way up from Alabama. And they're sitting over here on the floor and they helped us put all this together today. All right. They didn't know they were coming on vacation. No, I know. You come here, you're working. All right. So let's get going. Same rules apply. Let's put on the paint. And uh, I could just do this with a true applicator. And I need to do that. It's going to be much easier. Let me do that. Grab my true applicator. Sorry. All right. So we had a lot of people asking about the true applicator earlier. So here you go. All right, if you miss it the first time, she's doing it again. Don't give up on this tool. It is the most fabulous thing ever, so just turn it right up on your can. And don't offload it, just leave it on there like that. It just kind of turns, give it a turn so it doesn't smear and go onto the floor for you. Even if you get a lot on there, it doesn't hurt. You're gonna move it around until you get it where you want it. And you guys might have to swipe comments out of the way to see. Yes, you do. I can't get any lower. I already got it on the floor, so. I can't get any lower for them. <laughs> I can't. Well, I don't want to get on the floor, so we can't get any lower. Right. Leave the old one on the floor, please. <laughs> All right, so this little tool makes it easy. Well, I didn't to say you had to get back up. Well, that's the issue. <laughs> I don't have to get that. down here easy. <laughs> I might need a record to get me up. Okay. So I'm just taking my finger, fingernail, and pushing right down on all these little grooves. It's actually easier than the brush, really. 
I love this lot applicator. Of, it's one of my favorites. A lot of deep detail in here. Yes, and you can get the true applicator and the uh, roller and our great brush, which I think is an imperative tool to have if you're going to do any painting at all. You need a high quality brush. That is the highest of quality brush that you'll get years of use out of. Take good care of it. Wash it with salt and water on your sink. Using Dawn and hot water it will remove this product excellent. Make sure to not over dip your brush. You want to keep it on about one third of the hairs of the brush. Don't get up into the furl of the brush and you'll be able to get a long life out of that brush. You can even get a couple uses out of this trap applicator on the roller too. I can give more than that out of it, but I don't want to oversay something that I think they last for many, many projects. So um, there again, you want to take it to the sink. You want to clean it well. You don't want to let it dry out during the painting process. If you're in between coats, you can wrap it up in a piece of plastic, a sandwich bag, just something to keep it airtight so it doesn't begin to start curing either too. You don't want the paint to harden and then you're going to get specks of that in your paint, of hardened paint. So you want to make sure you keep it soft. As along with your brush, you just put them both into a little plastic container. It's an easy way to do it, or a plastic bag. Just and Sally, you can absolutely get those uh, tools. It's called the Tool Trio. You can get it right when you order either your free sample, uh, which you can get at all on paint.com slash free sample, or uh, when you take advantage of this deal. Can I tell them about this deal? Sure. Don't worry. I've been waiting uh, so keep that long. patiently. They may They've wanna, been waiting so patiently. They may want to go do something else. It is Friday. It Man. is Friday. <laughs> what, what's more exciting than this? Come oh, on. come on. Now, you know better. Seeing Paula get paint on her and sweat. See me bend this around. That's yes. my idea of a party Friday. Okay, so here's the deal, guys. So we are going to have a 40% off sale. You know, we very rarely do that. We're I got to. Oh, wait, we're having. Yeah, I have, well, hold on. I got to turn it on. Work roll. <laughs> hold on, and I'll tell you the details. Right. I got too excited. I got too eager. Yeah. Okay, the coupon code is July 40. It's 40% 40 off all your paint products. So that doesn't mean the tools or the debosser, but any paint that you order, whether it's a store code or all in one paint, you know it's all the same paint, uh, just two different labels, but it's all 40% off and the coupon code is July 40. No space, no all space. caps. All caps for July, or does it matter? It shouldn't matter, but let's say all caps. Just keep it printed. <laughs> Shouldn't matter. I, I like to keep on code in all caps. You normally make them that way. There's no reason I say. All right, so we're going to get this little ugly coat on here. And remember, this is the ugly coat, the bond coat. So don't worry how cute it looks. Don't worry that it's perfect. Don't paint with a grain. No need. Just get on this coat into all the details. You don't want to do a half job of this. You want to get down into all the little cracks and crevices. So it's coated one good time. Now the next coat, we'll do the same with a brush and roll, and we'll do the nice finish on that coat. So as you notice, I'm not having to dip back very often to my paint, because this sponge is full of the product. So it's just allowing me to basically rub it down. There's nothing like it, nothing like it. Is Paula even in the shop? Yep, yeah, she's still in there. I hope so. Yeah. We're just rubbing Scorsese right was uh, slacking for a minute. So if you've and ever this, used our product, comment here. If you've used it, if you haven't used it, say something to us. We want to send you that mm -hmm. sample to get the product mm -hmm. in your hands. Mm -hmm. and let you try it at home on something. And we know that you're going to love it already. We already know that. Yeah. It's like so many others who have loved it and are using it on all their products all their pieces they're restoring around their home. Well, it's good. Um, we're going to say it should go through tomorrow at 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, but we're going to only allow the first thousand people to get in on it because 40% is a big discount. And, uh, Craig's away. He might have a heart attack when he sees this, so <laughs> we're going to hurry up and get through it and hope he doesn't see it. Yeah, he, then right. He can't yell at me. <laughs> You'll see it. He's probably on here seeing it now. I'm probably getting a nasty tip now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've been wanting to do this for a while. Uh -huh. We just had to get caught up. We had to this. get caught up on orders first, yeah. We couldn't offer any sales. We haven't had any. We haven't had any in a long time, really, that are published sales. Okay, getting the backside now. 
be this old woman grunt here in a minute. Marsha, that was the surprise. That was the surprise. 40, she you don't think 40% off is a good surprise? She let me <laughs> off. Oh, was she thinking what we were going to do? I don't know. Well, I'm pretty excited about that. It might be on a delay, the comments. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. All right. We got ready for our brush and roll. And guys, if you're doing your cabinets, you could do the same process. So you could get through the ugly coat real fast with that true applicator. Just swipey, swipey it on. Let it dry. Now let yours dry good. So do as we say, not as we do here because we're... We cheat the rules a little bit here for Facebook just to kind of get through it because uh, we assume you guys don't have all day to hang out with us. So uh, it's we're trying. Pretty good, actually. It is. Yeah, it's really fast. It's so warm down here. It's great. <laughs> Did we mention that. it's hot here in Kentucky? It's really hot. Okay, so we got it all, but the uh, what I can do with a brush here. Oh, I didn't even notice it had fun feet. It's so cute. I noticed it. <laughs> you notice you're down there painting. I'm down there painting it, yeah. I'm you're down there up close and personal with those buttons. I'm noticing all the details it has, believe me. <laughs> Every little crevice. Mm-hmm. All right. Can you get any closer in here? Yeah. I think I got enough right. cord. I can come along for the ride here. We'll see. That roller. Which place? Yeah, where'd you put it? Right here on the end of this bench. Huh? I'm down for the count. <laughs> It's no. right on the end. Where it was. Well, no. no, I was right there in the drawer. Didn't he? It blended into the drawer. I didn't see it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. How many minutes have you guys guessed me at here? Already exceeded it? Let's see. Oh, you're not even close. I'm not close to No, what? they were, a lot of them were guessing in the 60 minute range. Oh, okay. You're at about 45. Well, it's gonna be that. Whoever guessed that. <laughs> You're a pretty good guesser. Well, it would be. I mean, if I painted the rails and the whole works in a really good job here, yes, it would be. All right, so we're gonna do a little brush, a little roll. Just kind of getting the details banged out. Don't want it to run. So, Ursula wants to know, how much paint do you think is needed for a large dresser, armoire, and two end tables? I would say two quarts would be my guess. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're going white uh, over dark, you always need to think about that a little bit. Maybe increase it by a quart, but I'm still thinking two quarts there from what you said. So, put on that paint, and then we're going to roll right back through it, just lightly. And there's a lot of detail here, so it's a lot of a lot of uh, surfaces that are not easy to roll, but we're rolling, we're rolling through them anyway. Okay. And I am pushing a little harder on these because I want to get that texture to look even. Don't want it to look brushed. Now the first bed that you did that you were talking about at the beginning mm -hmm. of the live mm -hmm. was not nearly as ornate as this oh, one. Oh, no, no, no. So no, how no. long did that one take you? Uh, I think it took me about 47 minutes, something like that. Did you watch that one? Yes. That was actually... Oh, I painted that. Paul's yeah. the very first live. Oh, that was that, yes. Is that the bed you're talking about? Or are you talking yeah, about no, that? I painted that bed again. I painted it first in Corinthian. Oh, that's right. Uh -huh. And then I went back and painted it again in Corinthian. <laughs> and I haven't picked up a brush and done anything to it since the live, except doing the white antiquing gel on it. So I haven't added any more paint. It looked great. How I left it within is how I left it. Yes, that was right in the uh, one of the first posts we were doing here after we moved into the house. I think it's the first one we did there. Mm -hmm. All right. So always you want to be on the lookout for runs. Again, this paint's pretty thick, so it's not super uh, prone to runs, but when you're working on something this ornate especially, you're going to have to just... Be diligent and watch it. You don't want to let it run hard, and trust me. No, don't do that. I got one on my uh, vanity cabinet, my master bath. 
It's just there to stay. It's going to live forever. You can get them off. It's just not easy. Well, if it ain't easy, I ain't doing it. So. <laughs> yeah. It's not in a real obvious spot. It's kind of like up under the cabinets. And if somebody's inspecting my bathroom cabinets that hard, uh, let them see it. Chinchillas. Chinchillas, that's right. Oh. <laughs> I'm babysitting the chinchilla this weekend while he's out of town. Oh, my. He's so cute, though. I can't wait for him to go one day, but he's so cute. Does anybody have a chinchilla? Them. Do you know what I'm talking about? Look them up if you don't. I don't want him to say. Don't get me wrong. But you he's don't cute. like him that good? No. But he is really cute. He actually uses his little hands. He stands up on his hind legs and he grabs stuff and he throws it. He's actually very strong for a little rodent. <laughs> very strong. <laughs> not very sweet to call him a little rodent. <laughs> well, he's a rodent. My pet name for him is the rat. He's not a rat. But. You should name him Rody. <laughs> <laughs> Old Rody. Rody the rat. Rody the rat. Yes, Shelly, they are a little messy. You mean rodents? <laughs> Chinchillas. Rodents, too. They're like a rodent. They can't take a walk without letting out a you-know-what right out of the backside there. Yep. Not fun. <laughs> Not fun for this mama trying to keep a clean house. Nope. I agree. The guest room has just become his. It's a rodent room. <laughs> it's a rodent room. <laughs> nobody's hey, coming, well, nobody's well, coming to stay at my house. <laughs> You need to sign on that door. <laughs> this is the rodent room. We know I'm real housewives in New York when uh, they go and stay at Dorinda's house, all her rooms have names. The fish room. And... I guess she has a rodent room. <laughs> <laughs> she she hadn't thought of that theme yet. Yes, you're ahead of the curve on that. <laughs> Yay, here. Linda got in on the deal. Good. Great. Oh, she's already went and shopped. She's already back. went and shopped and come back. She that girl knows what she wants. Mm -hmm. That's good. And Ruth said she just saved $124. Holy wow. cow, Ruth, you bought some paint. <laughs> what all did you buy? She saved that much. My son does picking sometimes, and he would say, you need an intervention. <laughs> picking orders here. <laughs> Meaning there's a lot of people right. that buy big orders. He says that. Uh -huh. so you, some of these ladies need a paint intervention. <laughs> And I, yet, I tend to disagree. I know. Well, see, whenever you use it, then you see why they have uh -huh. that issue. Yeah. Because I say, hey, if I can paint this easily, I'm going to paint some stuff. Mm -hmm. What see? can I paint next? While this brush is still wet. All right. Later. All right. Let me see where you're going here. All right. I got this big panel, so uh, back up a little bit. Man up. I'm working into this, some of this. Mm -hmm. Get some of this. A lot of people are asking about uh, the color Paul is using. It is London. And the color on the walls, I saw somebody ask earlier. I think it was Shelly. Yes, it's Oyster. Same thing as upstairs here. Mm -hmm. You guys ask about that one all the time. Mm -hmm. And so for those who missed uh, the earlier announcement, the deal is a 40% off flash sale. You know, we don't do 40% off very often. That's a big, big discount. Um, we can't do it for long, so it's going to be for the first thousand people or through 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time tomorrow. Whatever comes first. Whatever comes first. And that coupon code is July 40. July 40. Because, hey, it's July and it's 40% off. So I'm very creative when I'm naming these coupon codes. <laughs> yes, I will agree. <laughs> Some of them I have to wonder where did that come from? <laughs> All right, so we're putting on second coat, a little premature, we're putting it on, getting that going. I think it should include the antiquing jaw. It should. I'm pretty sure. I set that up earlier today, so you know I don't remember. But I'm pretty sure it does. Try it. It definitely includes all the paint, and it definitely doesn't include the tools. Paul is just... Busy little bee over here. We're All right, so I'm saving this big panel so you can see really see brush and roll. Are you in there where you can see me good? I think so. All they right, might so have to swipe the comments. On. So I think it's pretty dry. So we're going to put on that second coat. You saw the using the true applicator doing that kind of ugly coat here. Yeah, I can't get any brush. Lower. It. 
brush on a good full coat of paint. You see that? Stain and degloss are not included, guys. Brushing that on pretty liberal, just not runny, not, you can see it's not falling off the vertical surface, just putting it on there, right? Just giving it a good, moving it around as much as I possibly can with my brush, and that's why I'm brushing it on. If you try and roll it on, you won't get the same effect. The roller can't deposit the paint as even as that brush can. So now you just go right back through that, get up here too, and then you're gonna just give this a nice little stipple. So this is stippling. This roller is doing the same thing as the true applicator. It's stippling it. It's the same foam, it's the same open cell roller, just the same as the true applicator. You just roll right through that and create that nice, smooth finish. It's no brush strokes whatsoever. So for Paula, some of the newer people coming on, they wanna know why you're using the roller versus the true applicator. I'm doing both, actually. I'm using the roller after I've already put on my base coat using the true applicator. Here's what we did with the true applicator. We just kind of put on our ugly coat so we could move fast, get on that first bond, first coat. Now we're putting on more paint using the brush and roll method just by brushing on the paint, rolling back through it with a roller, which is doing the same thing, it's stipple. And so I found that doing this on big flat surfaces, you are more successful and it's much faster, especially on cabinets doing the brush and roll. So I think most of you tend to say, well, I'll just roll on the paint. That's what I'll do. I'll just save myself all that whatever about brushing on the product. You won't get the same results that I know for sure. And if you could, I would just say, hey, just roll on the paint. It would be that easy. It's definitely not the same effect. It's much easier for you to brush on, get the paint where you want, brush it out, and move the paint where it needs to be, and then use this to go back through it. And if you'll trust in that process and try it, try it that way, I think you'll find that you'll get great results, and you'll get the results that I'm telling you about if you'll just try it that way. Just trust the process one time. Use your base coat as this. You can get in all great details. Get that kind of banged out of the way. Get that first coat on after you've cleaned well. That's really the only steps you need to follow is clean it well using the deglosser. That gives you the surety that you're going to get a finish that's not going to lift off, peel off, scrape off over time. It's gonna remove all the grease, all the oil, the oils, anything that airborne that's settled on your piece, including hairspray, and just who knows what that's on that piece, you don't know that's there. It may look clean, but it's not. Give it a good clean with a nice dry cloth. Make sure that cloth is coming back clean. You don't have to keep going over it, over and over. Just do the once, get it nice and clean. If your rag comes back really dirty, you might wipe it again just to see. Make sure you get a nice, uh, good, clean surface to start with. That's very important when you're painting anything with any type of paint. Paint and oils and grease, that's their natural enemy and uh, they will not stick if there's oil or grease underneath there. So that's one thing you want to remove. So let's try it again right here. I want to show you. Paula's this. still working out the same uh, pint of paint. Too, still there. So. I'm about halfway into it right now. Um, and Paula, so you know the camera's not showing London in all its true sure, glory right here. So can you way. kind of describe it for everybody? London is a, I'm going to say a sage green that's got just mint cast to it, just a tiny bit. So it's just a little hotter than what I call sage green, but it still has that tonal feeling of a natural color from nature, but it's also going to be uh, very dependent on lighting. So that's any color. The way it reflects in your room is all based on lighting and how much natural light is flooded in your room or how much natural light you don't have. So light's going to play a big factor in how you see colors in the room. It's going to tend to make this color turn green, or sometimes I've seen it look blue. It just depends on your lights. It's meant to be a green, though. It is. It's a green. In, it's true, green. in true lighting. And I would say it's, it's color without being like super, super colorful. Mm -hmm. So if you want to kind of venture into that, if you're kind of getting to, you know, bored of the whites and the grays. You know, this is still can go with farmhouse uh, decor. It still is in that trend, I would yeah, say. But people trying to get out of all that gray, mm -hmm. everything yeah. gray. They want a little life brought back into yeah. their color palette. So this mm -hmm. is a good one without yeah. going overboard. Right. This isn't hot pink. You know, it's still it's still in the neutralish realm, I would say. Mm -hmm. Still sits well mm -hmm. with any greens or any neutrals, mm -hmm. any grays. Still looks great and wonderful with grays. 
So if you're pretty heavy gray in your house, this is a good way to amp it up in a certain room, maybe off in a small powder room, maybe your master, we want to do something mm -hmm. fun. If you got white countertops and you like gold, you should do it in your kitchen. Mm -hmm. Like Rayla did, it was so pretty. I can't believe you didn't see that. Oh, I haven't, I've just been so busy today. I haven't had a chance to even look at Instagram, but I will. I put it in the stories and everything. You'd be so look proud of me. Look at you, yeah, I gotta go see that. Paula usually does Instagram and I usually do Facebook, so. But that one was so pretty, I was like, I gotta jump over there. Beat her to this one. <laughs> she ran with that. I'm glad you did it. Okay, so now I'm just, you see what I'm doing here with the roller? Just lightly flecking through this. Just a quick motion of the wrist, really. Mm -hmm. I'm not rolling, rolling, pressing, rolling. It's just really, I'm just using mm -hmm. a light little uh, feather motion almost, mm -hmm. just hitting it. You know? And notice she's going different directions. It doesn't matter. That's exactly There's right. no major technique here. There's no no rhyme, no reason. Just uh, you're not just trying. Just a light pressure. That's the key. Light, light pressure. I'm moving every direction. I'm almost stopping the runs. I'm just picking up any place I see that there's too much paint and redistributing the paint with this roller. So please try this my way. And then if you don't like it, you come up and develop your own way. But if you are painting furniture, try this method. I think you will love it. And uh, just give me your feedback. So I want to hear that you like it or you don't. And I believe that uh, once you try it, you'll never go back to painting the traditional way, meaning uh, using latex paints to where you get heavy, heavy texture and so on. This is such a light coat of paint that has a beautiful finish. It has a beautiful uh, matte sheen, but it has a great velvet luster to the paint. So that's one great thing about it is the way it looks on your piece, including blacks. Sometimes whenever uh, you see people painting their pieces black, you always take a big breath, especially uh, outside doors and so on. Black if you know painters, will tell you is one of the hardest colors to paint with, and red. The, both of our reds and blacks, you can do just a beautiful a job on blacks and reds as a professional painter. Believe it or not, you can paint your front door and make it look seamless using blacks or reds, pieces of furniture just the same. So those are problematic colors in the paint world, and uh, whites would be the next one, and uh, you have to learn how to paint with whites. It's something that takes a bit of a technique, and this is the technique. Doing brush and roll, you can learn to paint with white and uh, give you great results. So, so many people choose white because it's the easiest, and uh, most people go from a dark kitchen, they want a white kitchen, which I totally understand. I love a white kitchen myself, and I uh, like to work and like to be in a white kitchen. I think it's inspiring. It makes me want to cook. It makes me want to mess it up. So, um, I, I myself don't like dark kitchens. I want to have, I look, when I moved recently, I wouldn't have bought a house with a dark kitchen. I mm -hmm. look for a white kitchen. I have white kitchen before and I want another white kitchen. So I'm gonna probably have a white kitchen till I depart. So <laughs> I hope. All right, if it's not, I'm gonna make it white, one or the other, right? I'm gonna paint it. I bet you know where to get some paint. I probably can get a deal on some paint. <laughs> right now you can get some for 40% <laughs> off. If you use the coupon code, I led you right into this. Yes, <laughs> I know where you can get some too. And you can get it 40% off if you use that code, Ju what is it? July 40? Yeah, July 40. That's it. That's all you gotta do. And the first thousand people that claim that code, or it will run tonight until what time? Or tomorrow? 10 o'clock Eastern tomorrow. 10 o'clock Eastern tomorrow. Tomorrow is the 27th, in case you're watching this at a later time. All right, so just so you know. Okay. You'll so, see it pop up there on your screen if it's still. Has anybody even remotely guessed close to how long it would have taken me to paint this bed? Uh, to, yeah, fairly it's say, close. to fairly say, it still needs some more paint, mm -hmm. but uh, we're all going close, don't you think? I mean, I would be happy if I could get all this done in less than an hour. All right. And if you weren't talking and teaching and all that, you'd obviously be going a little bit. And it wouldn't be any fun if I <laughs> that that okay. You'd be in there doing it by yourself. It wouldn't be fun. Oh. You know, I'd have a hard time just painting by myself. Mm -hmm. Since you all paint with me <laughs> so much, it'd be hard for me to sit down and paint something unless I turn this camera on. I don't even know how to react. That's probably really true, you know? I know. <laughs> I say that jokingly, but it might be true. How many years That's what's wrong with me getting the chairs done. I gotta get a camera on me. Then there you go. go. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, you got the same those, problem those I have. Those chairs. Those chairs are still haunting us here. <laughs> Okay, so look at this. Now, this can have, I don't know if that's lighting or what down there, but we'll put some more paint on it. It needs a little more paint. Mm -hmm. 
Let's we'll see if I can get on that coat on this one. Now let's go with her here. There right. she is. Let's put on some more on this one. Tutti, you're gonna enter the coupon code. If you hit view cart, you can see the spot to enter the coupon code. Cherry, if it's sweet cornbread, I might be there. Somebody's cooking for us? Somebody's it? cooking for us. Well, I wish that She was... invited us over after. Are you close? <laughs> <laughs> Do you deliver? <laughs> That might be the question you're asked. <laughs> yeah, that looks so pretty in that middle section. All right, so yes, this needs another coat for mm -hmm. sure. And I'll do a whole other coat on this, and I have paint to do it, actually. Mm -hmm. Paint a little, stipple a little. Roll, mm -hmm. I mean. And basically, you know, you've heard us say stipple a lot. As Paula's rolling, it's stippling. That's what it's doing. So although she's not pouncing that roller as it's doing its little roll motion, it's, it's stippling the paint. So it's doing the same thing. So if you just have the true applicator or you just love the true applicator, you can still do brush and stipple for the second coat same thing. and lightly pounce that true applicator. It's going to take you a little bit longer on these big flat surfaces, but it'll still be a gorgeous, gorgeous finish. Same thing. And if it's the only tool you got, then... Don't, don't wait. Get on it. It works just the same. Mm -hmm. I just like the ease of it. Just easy to hold. Easy to hold, easy to roll. And hey, it's a very inexpensive tool. All right, so I'm gonna quit putting paint mm -hmm. on this until this dries, because <laughs> I'm not helping myself on all of it. Kim, the ceiling panels are a drop, drop ceiling, and they're in a black. They're not painted. You could. You could, could absolutely, yeah. You know, it might be the spray. one thing in our building that's not painted. Iron gate would make a great ceiling out of color. You could paint with. You'd give it this sheen, dude. Catherine, it is 40% off all the paints that you buy today. So you want to buy a thousand dollars worth of paint, you can get it all 40% off. It just excludes the tools, the deglosser, and the specialty items like Relove and Gel Stain. But any paints, the kits, you're good to go for that 40% off with that July 40 coupon code. Okay. All right, let me stand up. See if I can. <laughs> let me see if I can still stand oh, up. Yeah. Oh, I want to paint this top board. You only made one little creaky noise when you. Yeah. Did. Was that a knee? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Where are we going? The headboard? I want, no, I want oh. you to come right here. I want to paint okay. this whole big flat surface with you. Okay. Can you get downwind of me here? Oh, you want me to come over maybe. here? Well, let's see. Let's see if they can see it better, maybe. All right, so, so here we go. In there. Well, this was good and dry. This one was perfect, okay? So I'm gonna get on this. So if you were painting a tabletop, dresser top, or whatever, this is how you do it. Put that paint on. You see how much paint I'm putting down? I'm not even offloading my brush at all. I wanna keep a lot on here. Just offloading on one side. I'm gonna show you that real quick. Look at this. When you go into the paint, put, put your paint in that much, not, not up in half of the brush, and offload on one side. That's it, just right there. That's it. That's going to my piece, that much. See that? I just offloaded right there, just by lightly pushing there. Now, can you get a visual of how much paint's on this surface? Because this is how you get on enough paint where you don't have to keep And she's dipped over. her brush in, I think, three times on this so Total far. So she's paint. putting some paint to it. Yeah. Which she's not being stingy. Level out. This was all scratched, deep Mars in this. But we're going to cover it with paint, most of it. So now I'm going to go around the edges because I don't want this to run and be a mess. I'm going to lightly roll the edges. I'm going to stipple this with this. Look at this. Dora, Capri's more of a teal. Roll those edges. Be sure to roll those edges. Just take your little roller, just run right down the edge so easily, so lightly. Just go right around the edge of that piece. It doesn't have to be painful. Mm -hmm. This will dry absolutely seamlessly beautiful. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and so talk about bubbles a little bit. That's we it. hear a lot oh, about sure. bubbles. So let's just If start. you're seeing bubbles, that's what this roller is designed to do. It's creating those bubbles. It's making bubbles. So if you're seeing bubbles, keep rolling. It's aerating the paint. So see those little holes? 
that's what's making the bubbles and that's what's moving the paint around is letting it get under it so it can move it. So you need to continue to roll through it until the bubbles lay down like it did right here. See that? There's no bubbles here. It'll start out sometimes different colors will start out a little more bubbly and all you need to do is just keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Just lightly roll through it and the bubbles will just flatten right out. Don't stop until they do. You don't want those to dry into the paint. So use this roller to its advantage roll through those bubbles until they lay down. So that's how easy it is. I hope you've enjoyed this and I've certainly enjoyed spending this Friday afternoon with you. And I'll take you back through a little, little bit of it so you can see it and I'll take some photos and video of it and show you. And also want to share with you the pieces that we did earlier today. And uh, Haley and Greg, my cousins are here and we did some cute boxes. I haven't gotten to uh, take photos of those, but I will and attach those to the video and uh, put that back up so you can see how we created those two. See a lot of my friends on here. Hi ladies, good to see you all here. If you uh, caught the sale that we're having right now, we are having a 40% off sale. <clears throat> and that's for the first 1,000 people who visit our website and check out right now using the code JULY40 and no spaces in between. So you just, that website. yes, that all in one paint.com. So just go there. And again, if you're new to this page, just put that right here in the comments below. You'd like to get a free sample we would love to send you one. So comment here, we'll send you that link to get into our group and also get yourself an eight ounce sample of this product and uh, get trying it yourself. So I uh, hope you guys- mom spit and get that uh, oh, what about paint that? off your face there. Look at that. Oh, that was me rolling. Hey, I had to do a little <laughs> roll. It won't even come off your new face. New blush, that's <laughs> new <laughs> blush, <laughs> light <laughs> green. <laughs> a little light green blush. She even mama spit on me. What in the world? That's when you love somebody, you your mama spit, right? You Oh I knew you were going to lick me. <laughs> Last time I did this, we kissed my shoe, but that's okay. Um, yes, so I will uh, share those fun things with you and this uh, bed when it's all painted. And I will give it some more love here. Got to go on the back side of some of these posts and paint down inside of the bed and the rails. I'll catch all that. But thank you all for guessing here. I'll go back and see who happened to guess the right number. And I see all your I want a free sample. We'll get back to those. So bear with us and we'll get through all of these. I see there's thousands of comments here. Thank you for sharing. I see so many pe people who have shared. Certainly appreciate you doing that. So again, we hope you have a fabulous weekend and we look to see you next week. So check out our sale and uh, be one of those who get 40% off. We hope to see you again soon. See ya. Bye-bye.